Hello guys, welcome back to your channel, The Game Shark. Today, in this video, I will show you for the first time ever how to implement cheats on the Juzu emulator for Nintendo Switch on Android. It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is follow the step-by-step -step guide by the letter and you will be able to use cheats on your Android device using the Yuzu emulator for Nintendo Switch games. So, if you're ready for that, don't change the channel because we're just gonna get started. Let's go. All right, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video today, I will show you how to implement cheats on the Jusu emulator for Android. So all you gotta do is follow this step-by-step -step guide by the letter. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, if we wanna cheat, we're gonna open our Jusu emulator and we're gonna find the game that we wanna cheat on. In this case, for me, it's gonna be Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're gonna long press on it until this pops up and then we're gonna click on the info tab. Then we're gonna look for this number right here, this program ID number, which is, you know, I basically just look up the last five numbers or five letters, whatever, five digits, and I go from there. That way it's easier to find than memorizing the whole number. But we're gonna find that, and then we're gonna exit out and go to our file explorer. I recommend using this one, Explore, which is pretty handy and uh it works pretty pretty good uh you can buy it or you can use the free version it's up to you but we're gonna scroll all the way up into the root of our device and then we're gonna go to the android folder we're gonna go to the data folder we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find the program yuzu which is the one that we're using and here it is, this blue one right here. And then we're gonna go to the files folder and we're gonna scroll down to the load folder. And then we're gonna find that number that I just told you, which in my case is gonna be this one right here. This is the Zelda Breath of the Wild folder where it keeps all the cheats that I have. As you can see right here, I have a bunch of cheats. And uh, yeah, you can, you can have them though. I will leave links in the comments for everything shown in this video. So watch out in the comment section below. So we're gonna find that, we're gonna open that folder and we're gonna leave it like that for now. Then we're gonna go back to our Yuzu emulator and then we're gonna long press again on the Zelda Breath of the Wild or whatever game you want to implement cheats on. Then we're gonna go again to the info tab and then we're gonna look up the version number which in my case is gonna be version 1.6.0, but the number that you really need, it's the last number of your version, which in my case is number zero. So if yours is, so if your, so if yours ends in one or in two, that's the number you need, the last number on the version number, which is this right here, all the way down on the info tab, that's it. Remember, we're gonna long press on the game, we're gonna go in the info tab, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down to the version number. And remember, your version number is the last digit of that number. So we're gonna exit out, and then we're gonna go to the Internet Explorer, and then we're gonna go to this side, tinfoil.io. I will leave links on the comments below so you can check them out and get there fast. We're gonna go to the three lines on the top right corner and then we're gonna go to titles. Then it's gonna give us a search uh, bar and we're gonna search for the game that we want to cheat on, which in my case right now, it's gonna be Zelda. And we're gonna search for it and it's gonna give us the titles and we're gonna go to the game itself. Breath of the Wild. Now, it'll give you a lot of information, you know, screenshots and good stuff, but down here it's what we need the cheats all right here's all the cheats for that game if you can note there's a number right here which you know is going to be the version number now i noted that there's only this version of cheats for that specific game which is Zelda Breath of the Wild and I tried using them and it actually works they work on it even though it's not the version of the game that we have or that I have it still works so I ended up trying them and they work but for most of the games that you want to cheat on you want to use the version of cheats that matches your game which in my case would be version 1.6.0 or 
version uh, zero, you know, but in this case, it act they actually work. So you can use these cheats right here. So we don't need that right now. We need to scroll all the way down and look for our version number, which like I said, you know, you can use the version number, which is listed right here. We need to copy the first 16 digits of this number, which in this case would be this right here. That's our first 16 digits of the version that we're going to use the cheats. But since I have version zero, but the cheats are in version 12, we're going to end up using the version for the cheats that are listed in Tinfall IO, which is this version, version 12. And we're going to copy the first 16 digits of those cheats. Just remember, we got to have that number in order to put the cheats on the Nintendo Switch emulator user. All right, so we're going to look up the code or the cheat that we want to implement on our game, which in this case, I mean, I could use anything, but I guess I'll look it up. See, we got Moon Jump, we got a whole bunch of cheats, but you know, we're gonna find the one that we like the most all right so let's say um uh, let's say something really good let's try this the current bow really quick we're gonna copy those numbers all right we're gonna copy everything we're gonna copy it we're gonna go back to our file explorer and then we're gonna create a folder inside the folder of the game remember you gotta have that number for your game opened up we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna name it quick shot all right quick shot inside that folder we're gonna create another folder with the name cheats just like that letter by letter so make sure you do that that's important now inside that folder we're going to create a new file text file what i do personally i just put a letter on it first because we need another set of numbers but i just put a letter there and create it then it prompts me to edit it because it's empty and then i paste all the code that i just copied from the tinfoil io which is the cheat code itself as the body of the cheat and uh, it's gotta be like this guys remember letter by letter follow my guide if you want it to work you gotta follow it step by step now we leave it like that and that's it current bow really quick i like to do it like this just because i like uh i like i like it being in order but uh yeah we're gonna leave it like that and it's gonna be the cheat now we're gonna save it and we're gonna go back and now comes the important part remember those 16 digits that i told you we're gonna go back to our file explorer i mean internet explorer we're gonna scroll all the way down in the page of the game and then we're gonna go to the version of the cheats that we have and we're gonna copy the 16 digits remember we're gonna copy those digits and then we're gonna go back to our file explorer and to that file that we just created, which was the quick shot. Remember, we got quick shot. We're gonna go into the cheats. We're gonna go into that file that we just created and we're gonna rename it. And the name of that file, it's gonna be those digits that we just copied. Those 16 digits were gonna be our file number. That's really important, guys. All caps, numbers, you know, in all caps. That's really important. And we're going to rename it like that. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yes. So that's the version of the cheats that we're using. It's not the version of the game because I don't know. That's that's a, a first, I guess, for the for this process. But most of the time you got to use the version of the cheats that matches the version of the game. So we got that, the quick shot. Inside a cheats folder, we have the file number, and if we go in it, we'll see our code, which is carbo real quick, and all the numbers, that's it. And then we're gonna go back into our Yuzu folder. Here's where the magic begins. So we're gonna go into the Yuzu emulator, and we're gonna long press on the game that we just put the cheats on, and then we're gonna go into the 
add-ons tab. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, add-ons tab. And as you can see right here, here's a cheat. This is the only cheat that you're gonna have, quick shot, because I mean, that's the only one you created. I recommend trying with the, just one cheat before you actually go on and make a lot of cheats and then go back and find out that they don't work. But here, we're gonna activate it. We can activate and deactivate the cheats. Make sure you have the latest version of Yuzu though, which right now is filming this uh, video. It's gonna be version 185, I think. But shout outs to the Yuzu team. They're working really hard. Shout outs to you guys and thank you very much for your work. I'm just adding a little bit to what you guys already done. But this is it, quick shot. We're gonna activate it and we're gonna back out and then we're gonna go into the actual game. Like I said, you're only gonna have one cheat because you wanna try it before you actually invest the time on putting all those cheats in there and then find out they don't work. So we're gonna go inside the actual game. We're gonna load it up. Don't mind the flickering. I don't know why my screen recorder is kinda like contradicting with the game. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. It actually works really good for me. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, I think. And yeah, but here. Uh, so it's flickering like crazy, but I will show you right now. See? Quick shot, baby. As fast as you can press it, it'll go. Yeah, I got another cheat. I got so many cheats on. Uh, oh my god. Why is it flickering so much? It's making it hard to showcase. But, like you can see, I can fly. I can do a lot of things. But, most importantly, the cheat that I just implemented is working. That's it. If you want to use more cheats, all you got to do is go back into the actual Internet Explorer and look up the cheat that you want. Remember, what you want to do is scroll down to the cheat section. You want to copy the cheat that you want and then do all the steps that I showed you. It's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory once you know how to do it. But that's the actual uh, structure of the files you need to find. Remember, you got to find this game number and then you put all the cheats that you need in here and that's it for this video guys i hope this helps you uh, p uh have a better experience on the yuzu emulator and again thanks to the yuzu team for making this emulator so great and uh without further ado you know subscribe like please share that'll help me out a lot and i'll see you in the next video i'm out